Alright guys, welcome to RC Mojo. This week we're going to start on yet another project. We've got a Tamiya flatbed trailer. We'll be building as Tamiya intend at least initially, then we'll do some mods. The packaging for the trailer isn't the most exciting. It's a very basic white box with red and black print. It's not much of a looker on a shop shelf, but these days, especially with online ordering, that really doesn't matter. Inside we're greeted with lots of brown, which isn't too inspiring. We do get a nice box lid for the metal parts though. Right, so what do we get in the box? First up we have the mechanical legs. These are spring-loaded and auto-retract when coupling up the truck. You do have to manually pull them out again when parking. Common to pretty much all the Tamiya trailers. Second are the rest of the leg parts, or rather the actuator that fits to the bottom plate of the trailer. All the grey plastic bits, the ribs, stanchions and the rear lights. The wheels, which are your standard Tamiya dualies. Rear light lenses, you get two lots of red ones and one lot of orange. I think Tamiya do do a clear set from another kit that'll fit if you want reversing lights. Next we have the metal parts box. Now it's packed with the usual lettered bags, as well as some brackets, the tyres, which surprisingly aren't metal. First out we have the four parts bags. Now this kit has the one at a time approach, so in the manual you open up bag A for steps 1 to 4, then move on to bag B, and so on. Quite a nice way to build. Next we have some tyres, which are of course your standard Tamiya truck tyres with the foam inserts. The front and rear ends of the load area, which have stamped letters on so you can't get them mixed up, which is rather nice. A special bracket, I think, to do with mounting the lights. It feels like steel, so it's not going to be bending much if you nudge something. The front board, made from, I think, stamped aluminium, although the edge quality is almost good enough to make me think it might be CNC'd. These are the side rails. Now, they're both the same, so there's no marking stamped in them. They are very nicely finished, though, as you would expect. The main chassis rails, again, they're very nicely made. No swarf around the holes, no sharp edges, just very nice. These are the wood strips for the load area deck, half light wood and half dark wood. They're well strapped together and look nice and straight. It's going to be interesting to see how much they bend or warp when we cut them free. This is the base aluminium sheet, and just like the front board, it's most likely very well stamped but it's hard to tell exactly. Very good quality. For the paperwork, we have the standard Tamiya warning sheet that nobody ever reads, a decal sheet along with the double-sided tape strips that we use to stick the wood down with. And then we have the manual, a two-colour one with the black and the blue print, not something you see too often with the Tamiya kits. Incidentally, the manual is copyright 1996, so by some standards these days, it's almost a vintage kit already. Inside, we have the typical high-quality Tamiya diagrams with a step-by-step -step build. And, well, that's about it. Being a trailer, you don't really need much else to make it work as a trailer. I'd recommend replacing the bushings with bearings, but it's not so important with a trailer. There's also lights, but what you do with them depends a lot on what's on your truck. Tamiya MFC or other controller, wired or wireless, etc. Which brings me to why I've got myself the little Tamiya trailer, and I've already got a couple of larger ones. Well, I won't spoil things too much, but I have been busy 3D printing some extra bits to convert the trailer into something a whole lot longer. Right, next time we'll start with the build with the load area. As mentioned, we'll go through Tamiya's standard build first, then go on to the mods. It's not a huge build, but it will be a high quality Tamiya experience, which is always a lot of fun. As always, thanks for watching, like if you like, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment if there's something on your mind. Bye guys!